Now, another industry doing very well in Colorado is alcohol. We've got beer, we've got wine, and now even whiskey. And that brings us to our Made in Colorado segment. As announced, Kristen Scovira shows us, uh, like peanut butter and jelly, apparently whiskey and coffee go pretty well together. Yes, you can drink it in the morning. No, it won't get you drunk. But make no mistake, whiskey barrel coffee is not your typical cup of joe on the go. It's a whole experience. A whole bean experience that began with one man, a passionate coffee enthusiast, Tall Fishman, who set out to create the perfect blend of coffee and whiskey. No, there's not any actual alcohol in it. They evaporate in, uh, in the process of roasting. Even without the booze, Tall's whiskey coffee is going viral here in Colorado and across the globe. We cannot keep up. We, um, we, sh we ship coffee. We already ship coffee to all the five continents. But the one person who couldn't care less about all the buzz, Tall himself. I did not make it to make a product. I made it because I was sick of sitting with a dripper and put drips of whiskey in my coffee. Tall creates his whiskey barrel coffee just north of Denver in Commerce City, where he and a small staff use only the finest high quality Brazilian beans. I want to create a company to bring back the old classic coffee. Coffee that tastes like coffee. But it's these whiskey soaked barrels that really bring out the flavor, especially after they sit for an undisclosed amount of time. It's it's a secret. And while now the secret is out, Tall says he's committed to staying small and staying local. I'm not going to make production coffee. I'm not going to go out there and, and do what everybody else does. I want to do something unique. I want to bring back the old flavors of coffee. Well, Kristen is here now. And wow, did you bring back some goodies, Kristen? This is all I the try. products they make there? Uh, <laughs> They gave us a lot to try. I'm pretty amped up from all of my sampling. I brought you some chocolate covered whiskey barrel coffee beans. Okay, I'm going to try this right you now. You got to smell them first. They're so good. Let's check it out. Wow, it smells like chocolate and whiskey. <laughs> it tastes like chocolate and whiskey. Well, there you That's go. That's crazy. I would not lead so, you in the wrong direction, yes. Look. I taste whiskey. You're telling me there is no alcohol no in alcohol. these beans, it, though. It all gets burned off, so you're totally in the clear. Um, you can get them online if you're interested, and uh, it's pretty pricey, though. I'm just going to warn you. Yeah. So, yes. Why is it so expensive? Very rare beans, and it takes a long time to get them just right. Okay, and only online? Only online. Okay. Well, it's very good. I can tell you that if you like coffee and whiskey, which I do, apparently. Kristen, <laughs> thank you so much. All right, two things.